Win win 20% off Black Friday sale, November 21 through 28th. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's November 2021 and we've now got two new features with the air to ground radar in the F-16C. First is air to ground ranging, which is very simple, and GMT, ground moving target and ground moving target track. This is a very powerful feature of the air to ground radar and we've set up the scenario to show you how powerful it can be. So we have our F-16 here, it has a steer point one over here somewhere. It's got a bunch of moving ground vehicles here. Of the six vehicles, five of them are goodies. One of them is a secret baddie. We need to find out which one's the baddie. To do that, we've asked all of the goodies to move at 10 knots, while the baddie continues to move at 20 knots. And we're gonna show you that we can distinguish between the 20 knots moving guy and the 10 knots moving guy. We'll follow the scenario all the way to a guided maverick kill. Obviously first, air to ground mode. What this does now on the left screen is default to AGR, air to ground ranging, which is a new screen that we have. Very simply, this will give us the radar distance between us and where the aircraft datum which is that cross there on the terrain is looking so between us and that piece of terrain there is that distance there that scale is controlled by this here so five nautical miles five two and a half zero that's two and a half nautical miles we can change the range scale 10 and this changes equivalently back to five that's pretty much all it is it's just telling you the range between you and there let's use the gmt the ground moving target mode the first thing i'm going to do actually is set my my Maverick up, I've got two Maverick Golfs here. I'm gonna to go to pre-mode and I'm gonna get the weapon screen up. That's pretty much ready to go. Next, we're gonna to go to GMT mode. So let's click on our mode here. You can't see that very easily, but that says GMT there. Let it populate. First thing we notice is that the gain is all wrong, way too bright. So let's use these OSBs here to change the gain. Next thing we notice is that we have some white bricks, these guys here. These guys represent the ground moving targets that it is found. Let's pause it so we've got some talking time. The usual functions of the air to ground radar, azimuth of scan. Do we want to scan 60 degrees left and right, 30 degrees left and right, 10 degrees left and right? With 10 degrees left and right, it will scan three scans of the ground moving targets for every one scan of the terrain. For azimuth 60 and 30, it will scan one scan of the ground moving targets for every one scan of the terrain. Next, ranging, either automatic ranging or manual. Currently 80 nautical miles from here to here. I'm gonna go down to 40. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as the ground mapping mode. Next, where do we want to direct our radar in terms of azimuth? The standard, it will be directed to our selected steer point, steer point one. If we want it to aim directly in front of us, then we can click SP Snowplow. It just so happens I'm looking pretty much at my steer point at the moment, so it won't make much difference. Or we can direct the radar at our cursor. To do that, we need to make this screen soy, sensor of interest. To gain soy on our screen, DMS down. To lock a target, TMS up. To slew the cursor, RDR cursor up, down, left and right, or the equivalent axes. DMS down, soy. Slew the cursor to the targets. They're too small and clumped together, it's not much use. I want to zoom in. Expand mode. You can go back to normal if you want. Expand, let it populate. Next, I want to point my aircraft at the target because of course I want to go in and shoot these guys. So I can use the symbology on the HUD. And you can see that there is our current cursor position. Next, I want to filter out the vehicles that are moving at the higher speed. So we're gonna employ our speed gate control. Two options we have in here, moving target reject, low and high, and target history. Moving target reject, low, means it will filter out any targets moving between eight and 55 knots. High, will filter out any targets moving between 16 and 75 knots. And you can see, we've now filtered out the target moving at 20 knots, and found which is the bad guy. Target history. How many B sweeps, which is this guy here, does the target have to miss before it disappears from the radar screen? So now we've identified the bad guy. Remove our control screen. Slew the cursor onto the bad guy. TMS up to lock. We now have a speed or a lock on that target. We can see his lat long there in three digit minutes. 
we can see the direction from us to him. He is magnetic 054 degrees for 25 nautical miles and closing. Estimated time of arrival there. Pete is in the hut of course. 054 for 24 nautical miles and the time. As well as that, our previously set up Maverick is now pointing at him. All we've got to do is get in range and fire the missile. So just check master arm is on and it is speed up time. When we get within a certain range of 20 nautical miles, we'll be given a DLZ, dynamic launch zone, showing the maximum launch range of the weapon. Next, we want to make the Maverick page soy, so DMS down. Next, I'm going to change the field of the view of the Maverick to increase our chances of picking up this target. I'm going to try locking onto the target with uh, TMS up. Failed. We're just a little bit far out. Let's try again. A little bit closer. Got him at four nautical miles should be within range and fire and bug out and everything works that should be a dead bad guy boomy that shows the basic air to ground ranging screen and the ground moving target and ground moving target track ability including speed gate differentiation and weapon employment of the f-16c i hope that was useful and see you later